It's a myth of David versus Goliath proportions. A scream and a stampede later, and, well, you know the rest. I'm guessing the plan here is pretty simple. Why don't you spell it out for me? Well, we get some elephants and some ice and see what happens. Right. Well, the circus is coming to town. I don't want to use a circus elephant. They're trained. I think we need a real elephant, something out of the wild. So we need to go somewhere where elephants wander in the wild. Africa! Let's go to Africa! You take your piece of elephant dung, and you take your mouse. This is a stand-in mouse. The real one will be later. Put him in the hole, cover him with the cardboard. Lay it out, and you think elephants are going to come on by. And wait in the distance with your monofilament. When the elephant gets near, boop, you expose the mouse and all hell breaks loose. We've chosen this area because it's open enough that we can see what's going on. And we know there's some food over in that direction. And we're hoping that the elephants will come through here on their way to the food. And at the right moment, we'll roll over the ball of dung, release the mouse, and see what happens. Hey, Adam, are you done yet? I'm all set, ready to go. Well, with everything ready to go, all that's left is to get some fairly predictable predictions. For me, I see this the same way I would see a person looking at a fly on the ground. It's going to be so small that you may not even notice it. I don't see any reason why an elephant would be afraid of a mouse. I don't have high hopes for this myth. With the sensible money on the no reaction theory, it's go time. The elephants innocently approach the dung of doom in what must be the most easy to anticipate outcome in Mythbusters history. But then, as crazy as it seems, the elephant backs away. The Mythbusters, like me, are flabbergasted. Well, what just happened is a classic Mythbuster scenario. We were all like, yeah, right, this little guy's gonna scare those big guys. And it did. I mean, our jaws just dropped because it was clear as day. The mouse came out, the elephant stopped in its tracks, like, whoa, and then it gently tiptoed away as if this thing was deadly. We all thought this was never going to happen, yet there it was. There it was, clear as day, but with a result as unbelievable as that, we can't call it yet. Working under the assumption that it must have been the movement of the dung that freaked the Ellie out, the boys reset for take two, dung movement only. But this time, the elephant was undeterred. This is getting ridiculous. He didn't seem to respond to the ball of dung at all, and I think my timing was exactly the same as it was with the mouse in there. <laughs> Works for me. Elephants are afraid of mice. <laughs>